Hey there! This video is an introduction to jobs in Touch Designer. Jobs are short for channel operators and they do one thing, they generate numbers. So to insert a new job you would press tab on your keyboard and select the job tab and for the beginning let's start with a constant. A constant generates a number. Um, on the right side in the parameters tab you have this little slider and if you drag it you see that the value is changing. And this constant in particular now has one channel called Gen1. You can rename it by just changing the type here to V1 and each channel has a value. The value is currently zero and you can change it by using the slider. You can enter a second value just by typing V2 for example in here and now you have two values. So you see if you use um, the sliders you would manipulate those values. So to keep it simpler I will go back to having just one channel called Gen1. So what can you do with it? You can use those values, those numbers, to drive parameters of other operators. Um, there's one little trick. Um, if you press the right mouse button on this green stuff here, when it's highlighted, you can insert an, uh, another operator. Um, in this case I will use a null because um, if I want to change those value afterwards, it becomes much simpler. For now, just stick with it and believe me, it will make sense afterwards. So if I want to use this value to drive the parameters, for example, of a rectangle top, I first need to insert it. And now I can take this value, I will change it to be more visible. and use this 0 0.85 to drive the x value of my rectangle. To do this, I first need to make my um, null one view active. On the bottom right corner, you have this little star icon, and if you press it, it's view active. And now you can just drag and drop this value to whatever parameter you would like. In this case, I choose size x. Now you get presented a lot of uh, options and to keep it simple just use relative job reference and now you see those value of 0 0.85 is ported over to my rectangle one. You see there's a little connection arrow um, that tells you that th those values are connected. If I would now just view it um, change the value of my constant, you'll see that the um, rectangle size is changing accordingly. So let's say we want to have um, this channel for the x value and another channel for the rotation. So I'll demonstrate one thing. If I would change the name of this value, for example, to scale x, you'll see that it's broken. This will happen all the time, but don't worry, you can press the x on the operator and see, okay, blah 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 blah, I have no clue, but um, you see size x is broken, it's red, and now you see, okay, let's see what it does. If I press the name of the parameter, I would open this little dialog. There you have three little buttons and there you can choose between what type of number you get as an input. The left is the default one. If you click it, you will have a constant value. Yeah, in this case, it's 0 0.5. You can change it by typing another value and it will always be that number. However, the light blue 
thing is called an expression and this expression is telling what number it needs to use to drive this operator. In this case it's saying hey take the channel 1 from operator called null1 it's over here null1 to drive this value but there is no chan1 value yeah there's a scale x value so if you want to change it you would type in scale x and if you press enter it will just stick perfectly yeah that's important to remember that each reference or each expression is actually a small chunk of code so let's generate another value for example i would duplicate it for the sake of simplicity and call this number rotation rotate rotate so what we can do now is just export the rotate to rotate and pressing this little star icon on your active pulling it over and choose relative shop reference so now this value is 0 0.66 which is pretty small for rotation because rotation happens from 0 to 360 degrees so what we can do now is manipulate the value from constant 2 to be another range yeah and we can do this by just inserting an operator between those two um, jobs to do this we we'll right click on the connection and choose insert operator so to manipulate values by doing math we can use the math job so now we can choose um, the second tab called mult add and just multiply the value by 360 because we know this guy here goes from 0 to 1 multiplied by 360 gives you 0 to 360 degrees and now you see if I move it, you see this little rectangle rotating. That's basically all you need to know about um, jobs in general. I will um, go deeper into what each job does in particular, but that's it for now. Bye.